another day, another Citeronius piece, it seems. So here in my hand today, I'm holding the Citeronia Belledonon, which is a Central American type of Citeronia. Uh, they are not as large as most species of Citeronia that I've bred, seem to be more on the smaller side, although by no means it's a small species. It's a pretty big moth, to be honest. But for this genus, they're on the smaller side. Either way, maybe if you follow my YouTube channel, will you remember the videos of the caterpillars? And if not, I will refresh your memory. Check out the caterpillars. And they were a pleasure to raise and very easy on walnut and amber tree. Uh, I should say sweet gum, liquid amber. And what's interesting is uh, they've been dormant for about a year, the pupa that is. And they hatched after about a year, after keeping them uh, sort of cool, so they could overwinter. It's a Central American species, so it doesn't stand very cold winters, but you have to simulate the cold and dry season. Otherwise, yeah, it's a pretty spectacular moth, and I really enjoy seeing it like this. It's a female, by the way, the first one that hatched. So, I just hope to have males anytime soon. Just recently I showed you the Citeronia Azteca on my YouTube channel. And, uh, I, I, and by appearance it's actually a little bit similar to Citeronia Azteca. It's just more oranges. More orange and smaller and more subtly colored. It has less red. Well, thank you for watching. I'm gonna go put it back now before it flies away or anything like that. You never know. That was another Citeronia video. Thank you for following my YouTube channel.